Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Becky. And on this episode, we've got Ballast Point's peanut butter victory at sea. Not just victory at sea, so but it still is a 10% alcohol imperial porter. So, and porters and imperial porters. And so, uh, I think we're going to like this one. I've had the victory at sea a couple times, and I know they make a bunch of different... Uh, variations. I've got coconut and mint and all that. And I don't know if I've got some of those up. Try to put the links and all. So uh, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, yeah. Now, with most any porter, you're going to get that nice, dark, deep, almost kind of like, uh, like a stout. And I've got a... Uh, Studio audience, so let's get that some over there. That mm. pours a decent head. Looks good. I don't know if this is only available in bombers. I've only ever seen the peanut butter victory at sea in a bomber. Um, and it says it's a nutty version of the popular Imperial Porter. Took our trademark robust porter brewed with Cafe Calabria coffee and vanilla. And added peanut butter, adding another level to this roasty, flavorful beer. Um, yeah. Couldn't wait, could you? No, I couldn't. <laughs> I smell a little bit of the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I don't smell a lot of it. You don't taste it. You taste the roasted, the malt, the slight bitter from the, the the coffee or chocolate at the end i don't know um i get the peanut in it i think the peanut's gonna kind of be mellow in it and uh i know this one's been in the fridge for a little while so it's gonna it may have even mellowed a little more but I, I, t I taste more of the peanut after the fact. Now, I know you're, you're a peanut butter fan. And, I mean, if it tasted just like a Reese cup, you'd be happy as a clam. <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not like the, the new peanut butter whiskeys that you're seeing out a lot. Um, I've had a couple of those, and I'm really digging those. Um you know, this is a porter, so you're not going to have that high hoppiness. Uh, you're going to have a lot of deep, rich, robust, malty things. Uh, you're going to have, you're already going to have that roasted. They, they've added the uh, coffee, so that adds another layer of the roasted, mellow, dark tones. Um, I I do taste the peanut. It's a, it's it's not. You know, like having a peanut butter spoon dropped in there. But, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of digging it. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the kind of the roasted and caramelized vanilla aftertones that is, you know, the linger on your tongue. And then the initial taste. Yeah. Um, I would definitely say it does not taste like temper than alcohol. Like no. at all. No, most definitely not. There's no like whew, booze. Yeah. Which like, I've had a couple 10 percenters that oh. it's hot when you drink it. Yeah. You, um, you taste the, you get that, that alcohol. That liquor hot. burn. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I have that at all. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's not heavy though. I'm, I'm really surprised. I, I kind of. It's a lot lighter uh, mouthfeel than a lot of the other Imperial Porters that I've had. Um, it's not near as, yeah, heavy. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's weighing down my tongue or, or my stomach either for that fact. Um, be good with food though. I think so. I'd like a steak with that. You know what else would be good with this? Like ice cream. 
I've tried that with a couple other peanut butter porters, and uh, your stomach hurts really quick. Not like I'm making a float, but like I'm eating ice cream while I'm drinking my beer, and it makes I don't I don't know if it's the combination of the two, and it's just me, but like it just makes my stomach hurt. All right. I don't need a whole lot of ice cream. But, um, I don't know. I think it's kind of neat. I, I mean, I wonder if they've done, like, a chocolate peanut butter porter. That'd be That'd neat. Be good. Yeah. That'd be real good. If you haven't, Ballast Point, I would accept that. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it just as much as the regular Victory at Sea. Um... You know, I've been a pretty good fan of the vast majority of Ballast Point beers. Um, all the ones that I've had, I thought were well above average. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, uh, I think we've just about discussed that one just about as good as we can. If you want to talk about it some more, let's talk about it down there in the comments. And while you're at it, give us a like, subscribe, ring the bell. I do this three times a week. Um, so let's get down to... Did you dig it? Yes. I did. About studio audience, did you? Yes. All right. Uh, would you have another? Yes. I think I would definitely have another. Yeah. Um, now, I, I see them a lot in the Bombers, so it doesn't really come down to that pick six thing. So, you know, uh, I just say grab one of, the six, one of the big pick six. If you're getting one of those, grab a big Bomber. Why not? Um... Now, on a 1 to 10, 1 pints to 10 pints? Probably 7. I'm on 7. 6. 6 from the studio mm -hmm. audience. There you have it. It's above average beer. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.